Hey guys, this is Lamont Tony over here, Big Dogs Performance. And what you're looking at is a massacre. Um, Lamont just did a teardown. What are these, AFR what? 185. 185, they're like renegades because they look CNC. Uh, part number is 1420. 1420. Uh, AFR Renegade 1420. And what you're looking at is carnage. Right here is supposed to be a spring shim. Now, unless they're making some new parts, Lord, <laughs> I didn't know the shims coming to pieces. Yeah, you know, I thought the inner spring man had his own uh, shim. <laughs> As you see, this shim has been beat to hell and cut in half, you know, cut in two pieces. And as you see, when I put these pieces together, it's quite a bit of space, quite a bit of space between the inner piece and the outer piece. So that space is metal that's gone that went through that customer's motor. Um, pretty much all the intakes are like that. And what that comes from is improper valve train setup on a cylinder head. You have a situation here where we measured everything and the install height um, was off. Um, the install height was off and the inner spring had really no spring pressure. So it was bouncing around. And that was due to the lack of the spring cups on those particular heads. Those heads come with spring pocket locators. We call them spring cups. You can call them whatever you want. Um, but what that does, that adds thickness. Usually those cups are around 60 thousandths of an inch thick. So you're essentially taking away 60 thousandths of an inch from the spring seat pressure and you're also exposing these inner springs. Um, you're, you're taking the seat pressure off of the inner spring, which in turn basically cut that seat shim in half so this is what you have so you have a lot of metal and crap going through the motor and the motor is pretty much you know toast it needs to be rebuilt cleaned, and all that stuff so what we're going to do we're going to order the right spring um locators and we're going to set everything up and we're going to go through these cylinder heads um thoroughly and give them our stage two port job but once again guys be careful who you send your stuff to. And if you're going to do them at home, you know, I, we recommend not to really do them at home unless you know what you're doing. But if you are, have somebody check behind you because this can destroy your motor. Um, when we tested these springs, Lamont tested them, they were about 109, 110 on the seat, which is not enough. Um, but when we added the spring pocket um, locator, or the spring cups, um, it was up to 140, which is pretty much where they're supposed to be uh, factory. But we're gonna fix everything, get that spring pressure up to about 150, 155 for the performance application. So once again, this is, and this is Tony, over here at Big Dogs Performance. See you guys at the track. So Lamont just set up that spring the way it was um, install height on that cylinder head and the inner spring the reason why those spring shims were cut in half is because pretty much the inner spring was bouncing around it wasn't sitting on anything so and this is the seat pressure 109 pounds on the install height this is why we tell you guys to, I'm gonna be honest, stop listening to people tell you you can do this shit at home. Or you can just send it to Joe Schmo down the street and you know, oh my machine shop is gonna do it, they're gonna look it over. Look at this. So all that metal that came from the cut up spring shims went through the motor. And with this kind of seat pressure, 
109 pounds on the sea, you're not controlling anything. <laughs> I mean, you could put a factory cam in there. It still won't control it. Well, you'll control yeah, the factory cam. Yeah. yeah, factory cam. But anything other than that, I mean, a factory cam at what RPM? Um, 4,000. <laughs> right, right. Once you get there, it's going to start, you know, playing musical chairs on there, man. I mean, come this on, guys. It's a dual spring. It's a dual spring. So it wasn't set up right. It wasn't installed right. And these are the kind of things that can ruin your motor. One of the things that we set up and we check on all of our cylinder head port jobs. So, I mean, you guys gotta gotta appreciate what we do. And the install height was 1.85. Right. So that's the spring pressure at 1.85. Exactly. So, yeah, we're going to notify the customer. We're going to let them know what's going on. But we're going to recommend, you know, going through these here. They may not meet. How was the um, guys? The guys was okay? Yeah. The guys was okay. So we're going to check the guys and make sure they was okay. Lamont said he was okay. Um, so... But we're going to go through these heads to check everything, but we're going to set them up properly. All right? See ya.